Yo, what's poppin? It is your boy TJ. Welcome back to another video. Yes, I am so excited for this video too. Holy mother of God. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, FCMO 100k challenge account, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. 20% needed to complete this because it was an aggressive account. Now, your boy TJ was on the charts all week on VIP, absolutely smashing it as you can just see. I don't want to go into too much detail because that will be in further in the video. However, over 20% needed to be made in order to pass this challenge. Obviously, you've got minimum 10 days, maximum, I would say around 20 plus trading days. But the fact of the matter is, I did it before even a few days. I did this in one day and yes, it was a gold trade that I entered. My full process behind taking the trade and also making it happen and holding it because obviously you've got to hold your nerve, you've got to hold your trades, there's a lot to learn. Before I get into the video, if you are new around here and you're like new to trading, get yourself in the Discord. The Discord is absolutely fire, over 600 people now in it. All different traders in there, beginners, experts, all posting, you know, markups on there, talking on a day-to-day -day basis. We even talk about the VIP signal, so make sure to get started in there. And like, subscribe as well if you are new, and hit that bell for notifications so you can stay up to date with my uploads. I upload one video every three days, and that is all I've got to say. But without further ado, let's fucking go. On the screen right here was the gold trade before it took place. Now, I just wanted to describe some parts on why I actually took the trade. Now, gold's very manipulative. Banks will manipulate this pair and other industries so that you get it wrong. And what I mean by this is I would never, ever, ever enter a gold mid-trade. Now, if it's a mid-range, you get up your channels, you mark up your support, your resistance, and you're looking for the spike out. As you can see right here, 1777, the wick rejection, taking out all of the lower highs of the support where, you know, the sellers might be getting in, they're gonna get trapped out in a minute, but all of the buyers who previously bought are about to get tapped out because their SL is probably at entry or just below, and this is where you get your buyers. So the gold always does this on a, you know, if it's gonna go, if it's going up, it will wick out the bottom of the support, and if it's gonna sell off, it will wick out the top, up top of the resistance, and then come all the way back down. And this is just really what gold does. Make sure to always understand this when taking gold trades. Never enter a mid-entry. Now, obviously, that is what happened. That was my analysis behind taking a gold trade. So obviously, we sent it to VIP. Loads of trades getting sent. Honestly, we profited over 25% to 30% just off last week in VIP. Obviously, link in the description, but carry on watching the video. Now, this is £3,500 in open trading. I can actually take an advantage because their account is an aggressive account. You know, my max daily loss is a little bit more. I can take these chances. But also new, and a lot of traders who trade on a day-to-day -day basis, I know how charts move, I know how this pair moves, I trade it all the time, literally all the time. So therefore, I knew that we've got an uptrend on gold, because we've come all the way from 1678, from now 1777. We know gold's an uptrend, so this manipulation spike from the lower highs, taking it out, allowed me to get entry. As you can see on the screen right here, 1779 entry, 1780 entry, and 1780. We've got the pretty much the best entries in the game, you know. This is where you want to be getting in your trades, because price, as shown here, absolutely spiked up. Now, I'm going to sh actually show you the FTMO account now on what actually happened during this whole process of this trade. Now, what I want to tell you guys SL at entry. We got sniper entry now for gold. Gold shouldn't really come back down here now. It shouldn't come back down. So SL entry, gold's gonna spike up. As we know, it's been, it's wicked out. Now we're gonna see the spike up to the bullish upside. And that is exactly what happened. 7,200 in open trade. Manipulation spiked down to the downside. And then you see the bullish engulfing candle where it's faked out all of the markets, all of the retail traders and going up. This is such an easy trade to take. We know gold's on an uptrend. We're waiting for it to manipulate, spike people, trap all the sellers, you know, tap out all the buyers and then push price up. The move might take place, but remember, you've got to be smart with gold. They want to f so therefore, you wait for it to wick out and then you get your entries. And as I said, SL entries makes it secure. We're flying in profits. You can't lie. £12,900 in open trades. We are tipping nearly 14000 which is 20% of this account. You know, this account is a big account. And literally shown there, look at my SLs on the screen. So secure trades now. Absolutely flying. 
over 120 pips plus in profit. Absolutely flying trades going on. And this is, it's only gonna get better from here. And as I said, I showed you the analysis, I showed you my full process. People on FTMO, they feel like they need to rush the 10 days and you really don't. Obviously this doesn't really demonstrate me rushing because I only got one pair, you know, I only needed one trade. I, I knew that I was gonna get sniper entry on gold. I knew it wasn't gonna go down anymore. We literally waited for it to spike out and then we got our buyers in. Obviously, if it went down to 1776 or 1777, then I would have obviously closed, but that is not the case. We got zero drawdown as well. That is so important on FTMO. You cannot be getting drawdown in FTMO because it will later on. But as shown on the screen right here, this is where I started to think price is going to go up and I'm going to get out. I'm going to get out soon because I did not want to hold these trades. I only needed £14,000 profit to complete this challenge. That's all I needed. I haven't even hit 10 days yet. This was within one day. All I knew is that the gold trade was coming in as shown on the screen right here. £14,203 profit in close trade on the whole account and as shown on the one day, £13,985. Guys, 20% made in one day. 20% made in one day, as shown as well, the FTMO account right there. You know, so you guys know I'm not lying. But as I said at the start of this video, all you have to do is get in on a trade. Now, I've got a free trading group. You've got the Discord. Get in both of those, okay? And obviously, if you want to pay, they got the VIP. But your boy TJ streams every single day on Twitch looking for markups to send to VIP. Check out the twitch.tv slash it's TJFX. Check that out as well. Make sure to follow me. And just guys, remember when taking FTMO, if, you, you know, if you're not a pro trader or you're not confident in your analysis, don't do stupid lot sizes. However, risk manage if in that case, make sure to use calculated risk management to actually help you not blow your accounts. However, if you are really good at trading and you trust your analysis like I do and believe in myself as a trader, then you can do FTMO like this. As I said, sniper entries, SL entry, risk-free trade. It was literally a free FTMO funded account. Now, your boy TJ is gonna help out a lot of people and I will be posting an FTMO group chat. So people who need the FTMO, join the Discord right now. Get yourself in there and I'll make up a group for you all. But it has been your boy TJ. Much love on the channel. As I said, like, subscribe if you are new around here. I will catch you in the next video. Much love. Take it easy and peace.